now the render's done, so on my desktop, it is saved out as the QuickTime movie. Um, and the way Blender labels its output is it has the start frame to the end frame and then dot whatever the extension should be, MOV in this case. And I'll show you the final product of that is this. Get that info out of the way. So you can see that it has a pretty smooth motion. There is some um, kind of wobbliness on the uh, X, Y, uh, and then just a little bit on the Z at the very end right there. So I might, might want to uh, go back and do those frames over again. Um, also, you can see that my lighting is a little bit grainy. So I might want to go in and fiddle around with the uh, lighting. Um, but I think we knew that uh, when we were rendering the video because all the images were just a little bit grainy. Okay, so now I'll show you the uh, at least intermediate product in After Effects. Okay, so you can see that it's not perfect. Um, the The two main areas are um, the the hair is just too hard right there, and then also the uh, the calf in that area is uh, not not keyed exactly as you would like it, but in general, um, pretty pretty good for a. Uh, quick tutorial. So I'll go through and uh, show you how I made the adjustments in After Effects. Uh, first of all, I have three layers. The base layer is this um, 1 to 215 dot move that I just showed you that came from Blender. Um, the top layer is the woman and then the uh, middle layer is just the shadows uh, from her feet, okay? And uh, if I unlock these and click on this uh, base layer, you'll see that I, I used totally the original layer. Now, I feel like the lighting wasn't very good, so I might be able to, uh, for example, go to the effects presets. And by the way, my workspace, I just used the effects workspace here so you can click on that and get something similar to what you see here um, so anyway I have I have this selected and if I uh, wanted to find brightness yeah, just start typing it in there it is and like I could lower the brightness of the background just a little bit if I wanted to I actually chose to not do that, I chose instead to go to the layer I, I've called a woman here and uh, add added a brightness contrast to make her brighter. Okay, so again, experimenting with the lighting in Blender, um, I might have made a better match to my original scene, but you might eventually have to do both of them, uh, tweak both of them a little bit, and that's just fine. The main keying that I did on this layer was with Keylight 1.2, which comes with After Effects CS 5.5. Um, and what I can do is just kind of uh, reset this and go through the uh, things that I did to key it. Now you'll notice that, uh, again, like I said, here, for example, on uh, her lower leg, uh, that that light is just setting it setting it off too harshly. Okay, so I didn't get a great key um, because we've got a little bit too hard of a line there. Oops. Uh, same thing with the top of her head, and the hair there. It's just it's not quite what we would want. This is a very difficult scene to key, actually, um, and I think they gave it to us for that reason. One of the things that makes it so difficult, if we look at uh, the source, if we go over to our key light, plug in and view the source, um, 
And actually, I'm going to come down and turn that brightness contrast off also. Uh, we have two shades of green to eliminate. We have the uh, green screen, obviously, but we also have the darker markers that we have to eliminate. So when you're setting up your green screen, uh, you may want to think about this, that you have this, uh, this problem of getting markers that are trackable, but at the same time getting um, markers that uh, can be keyed out and eliminated in post. It's a uh, difficult problem, and the best solution is to just avoid markers near your subject. Uh, that will allow you to mask out um, everything around your subject and not have to worry about those markers. Uh, you'll notice that I do have a mask on this uh, woman layer. If I come down here and drop down and show the masks, I can unlock that. You'll notice that I do have, whoops, uh, I do have this mask that uh, masks out, again, messed up that, uh, that masks out all of this stuff. You can kind of pull it around to show you, you know, this is masking out all of the the set and, and that sort of thing. So only the woman is left. So if you can cut out all the markers, of course, that is ideal. But in this particular scene, we, we can't. Okay, So for whatever reason they did it that way, uh, we've got to accept that and work with it. I'm going to lock that mask down again and go back to key lights. So if we take a look at some of the things I did, um, first of all, I'm going to view this then I went to the combined mat, and what you do here, first of all, if you have some uh, uh, s some green on your subject, you can turn the screen gain down to get that out, but obviously that will add more g green that you have to key out, so you, you, can, you can play around with that, um, but the main ones are uh, under this twirl down that's called screen mat. Okay, so if you twirl down that screen mat, you see clip black and clip white. So what I did was find that uh, if I clipped um, nothing, I started out with something pretty good, but I did want to uh, clip the white down to where it was filling everything up. So I did that, and then I noticed that, well, shoot, there are these spots here where you can still see the markers and that alpha is going to show up in the final result if we don't clip the black and that was pretty simple I just went up five looks like I could probably get away with four which might help the hairline a little bit uh, and then to to help the hairline um, I, I did find that I had to shrink it down the, the entire mat about negative 0.5 and then uh, soften soften it by two, and uh, you know you have to just kind of balance back and forth. And actually, instead of viewing the combined mat, viewing the final result is a little bit easier to uh, manipulate that. You see, if I want really soft edges, get kind of the Barbara Walters effect. We don't want that per se, but we do want a soft edge. makes it look like she is part of the scene. Okay, and that's uh, almost all I did, but I also then added a uh, grain, and basically if you uh, go over to your effects panel, do a search for grain, uh, and, and just go with the standard add grain preset, that uh, tends to give you a pretty good setting. Um, let's see, this isn't the best spot for viewing over here. Though you can you can tell that some of the graininess 
in the darker colors um, need to kind of match up with that layer. So I did that, have it disabled for preview purposes. And then lastly, uh, the that was looking okay, but when you looked at her feet, if we didn't have those shadows, just mostly because of the nature of this bank scene, it's just so white down there. It just really doesn't look realistic like she's standing on anything. So to add in some shadows was kind of essential. So what I did was I uh, masked off just the feet and the shadows and I used a uh, animated mask so I have uh, keyframes on the mask path and let me show that mask there it is so you can see that the the shape is following the uh, shadows to some extent and kind of morphing a little bit and that might not, not be the exactly the best way to do it but it's pretty good I feathered it out by 18 pixels if I uh, feathered it out much more, then you, you start to see the remnants of... So you, there you can see the marker. It doesn't work. So 18 pixels is what I ended up saying was the best. And so then I did another key light on that to, to be specifically pulling out those shadows uh, and not having to worry about... You can see that her foot is actually a little bit invisible there. Well, it doesn't matter because on top of it, if I activate uh, that woman layer, we've already got her foot in the composite. So that's how I built it up. And that's uh, what I would like you all to, to do and post video responses with uh, how well you've done with this technique. It's a three-part series, you know, and... Uh, I hope that it's been educational for you. Please subscribe to the channel. All that. <laughs> no, I'm just. I'm not gonna say all that YouTube stuff. But uh, <laughs> there you go. I hope it helped, and I would like to see anything that you did that uh, used it. All right. Thanks.